This is an example of a, a synthetic data set that is publicly uh, available. Uh, so you might recognize the game Grand Theft Auto. Well, it's pretty, not perfect, but pretty photorealistic. Uh, and, and the name of that data set is playing for, uh, for benchmark. And you can use that type of uh, synthetic images in order to train your, uh, your, uh, your network. Um, and the idea is that this way you can get a lot of driving scenario without having to uh, go outside with, with a real car. And, and more importantly, uh, since you control everything, you know everything in your synthetic data set, you know where are the objects, uh, where are your pedestrians, etc. So you get the data annotation for free. And this is a, a very costly part if you have to do it manually. So having it for free is, is really a great benefit. So there is uh, other uh, data set that are available. So one can use Carla, which is an open source uh, game engine that you can use to uh, generate your driving scenario. Uh, it's more basic, but uh, pretty interesting too. And there is another publicly available data set called uh, Synscape, which is probably the most photorealistic. Uh, but a bit uh, restricted in terms of, uh, of uh, diversity. So the question is, is it a good idea to use synthetic images in order to train a network that will be deployed in the real, uh, in the real world? Uh, so we did a couple of experiments. Um, and uh, first question is, how do we train 